Installation and startup procedures, troubleshooting and maintenance, are important to a successful operation of a reciprocating compressor. Of equal importance is the subject of capacity control. Compressor capacity control is the method by which the output of the compressor is regulated to provide as nearly as possible only that amount of gas needed at a particular instant. The ideal governing arrangement would be to obtain such infinite control that the reciprocating compressor capacity would be exactly equal to the demand at all times. For an installation to be successful, the controls on the compressor must function properly. It is therefore extremely important that engineers, operators, and maintenance personnel be thoroughly familiar with the compressor controls. This familiarity must include an understanding of the reasons the controls are put on the compressor in the first place, as well as knowledge of their operation. A compressor driven by a variable speed motor approximates this condition through its ability to change speed and therefore to change its capacity within the limits of its maximum and minimum speed. The capacity of such a compressor is infinitely variable. However, the majority of reciprocating compressors operate at fixed speeds. Therefore, the capacity must be altered by some means rather than speed. There are actually three common methods to control the capacity of a reciprocating compressor. First we list them, then in the next couple of videos, we will discuss each one of them in detail. These capacity control methods include step control, bypass control, and speed control. For step control, there are two basic methods used for capacity control on reciprocating compressors. These are intake valve unloading and clearance pocket unloading. These two methods are sometimes used in combination with each other. In the latter arrangement, the capacity reduction is in fixed steps. We will see this in detail further ahead. Bypass control is another method to reduce the capacity by simply bypassing some discharged gas back to the suction of the compressor. Though the method is relatively simple, it calls for wastage of horsepower. In compressors driven by variable speed engines, the capacity can be adjusted by varying the speed. However, keep in mind that there is a minimum speed below which such units cannot run, and from here on, step control or bypass control comes into operation. Now, some special systems also exist, like the infinite step control. In this control arrangement, the closure time of the intake valve is varied. This allows a stepless capacity control from 0% to 100% full capacity. In the next couple of videos, we will examine in exquisite detail the intake valve unloading and the clearance pocket unloading methods. We will use extensive graphics, cross-sectional views, and 3D animations to give you a virtual practical exposure on compressor capacity control. So if you are ready, then see you in the next video.